<laughs> Tell you what, Raleigh, you, you cut quite the elegant figure out there on the, on the hill. Raleigh Fingers <laughs> is with us here at the Hall of Fame. It's great to see you, Raleigh. How Thank are you? you? Nice to be here. You know, it's amazing to me. When I watch now, and we, we talk about uh, bullpen strategy and pitcher usage all the time, and I'm just wondering what you think, like when the, the high end now is maybe 75, 80 innings. It's full throttle. It's different. Mm -hmm. But you averaged for 14 years. People can't even fathom this. For 14 years, this man averaged 114 innings a season. So the human body clearly can do it. This <laughs> oh, yeah. human body did it. What do you think when you see the, the new age of relieving? Uh, I think that the relief pitchers today could probably go uh, – Longer, uh, but uh, with with the managers, they the way the way the bullpens are set now. You're you got 12, 13 guys in the bullpen uh -huh. or on the pitching staff, so uh, you got a lot of bodies down there, and these guys are used to pitching just one inning. Uh, everybody knows uh, uh, they're the what inning they're going to be in. The guy's going to be in the seventh. The guy's going to be in the eighth inning, and you got your ninth, uh, ninth inning closer. Is it guy. a better way of doing it? Is uh, is that the better way, or was your your uh, days the better way? The way it's working now, it's it's working. Pretty Pretty good. I mean, when I was doing it, that was the best way to do it. And then they they started uh, getting guys now. I mean, when when I was playing, we might have one, maybe two guys in the bullpen that maybe threw 90. Right. Uh, now you've got six guys throwing 95, 96, 97, 100 miles an hour. So it's a, a completely different uh, game now, and uh, consequently. Um, uh, ball clubs are carrying more pitchers, uh, and I don't think the guys down there get enough work sometimes. Uh, I mean, I needed a lot of work when I was pitching to stay sharp. Uh -huh. I didn't mind going out pitching three, four innings. And, um, you know, we had three, four guys that I, when I was playing, Daryl Knowles, Bob Locker, Paul Limblad in Oakland. Uh, we would get our work in, but, uh, they, you know, they let us pitch when we needed to. How, now, people would be amazed again. Seven times in the playoffs, you pitched three innings or more. So there were times that you came in, would finish the game, and start in the seventh, finish the game, or the sixth. You'd work four, four and a third. How early would, the, in a regular season, how early could the phone ring for you? Or did they say, uh, hey, no, no, we're not going to call you till later? When well, did they call? well, Dick Williams put me in the bullpen in back in 71. He said, uh, from the sixth inning on, be ready. I said, okay. So I was, I knew I was going to be in six, seven, if something happened. And uh, the difference today is, Guys, your closers don't come into situations very often where you already got guys on base. They usually come out, inning, start, inning. The, yep. start the inning, clean inning, the, and uh, that's the, probably the biggest difference. But I knew that I was going to be in the – if something happened, I'd watch the scoreboard and I could see the score, and I, I knew when the game was coming to me. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I was usually ready. I would get up and start throwing maybe easy in the fifth inning, just soft toss, get – get the muscles going, and uh, I'd be ready if something happened in the sixth inning. Were you, did you think of yourself as a fireman? Was that the kind of thing? That's you, or was it, was it later? <laughs> you know? That's what they call it. Well, I mean, what, what, is, what do you think is the best way? Say I had you, right? You're a relief ace. Most teams do have a guy that they know. That's our relief ace, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. And there is a tendency to make him a ninth inning closer. Is that the best way? Or do you think if you had a relief ace, you, that guy should roam early, maybe even sixth or, I don't know, fifth, seventh, and work two innings and then get out, and then you take your chances with the rest. Well, you know, you got four or five guys down there that are pretty good. There's four or five guys down there that could probably be closures on other teams. Mm -hmm. So if something happens, uh, you know, if it's a close ball game or a big game, a playoff game, uh, and something happens in the seventh inning, I wouldn't hesitate to go to my guy that they usually use in the ninth inning. Right. I mean, you don't want to get the – uh, let the game get out of hand. Yeah. So uh, I would I would probably use that guy. You know, guys. relief pitching, we were talking about uh, this before. Relief pitchers uh, have not gotten a, a great shake in the Hall of Fame, right? <laughs> now, you got in in 92. The previous pitcher to get in was Hoyt Wilhelm, who was regarded as the greatest ever, an amazing career, the knuckleballer, right. right? He got in, you know, he got in on his eighth year on the ballot. They made Hoyt Wilhelm <laughs> wait eight years, oh, wow. 1985. You got in, then it wasn't until Dennis Eckersley went in in 2004 that Bruce Suter on his 13th year, Goose Gossage on his ninth year, Trevor Hoffman on his third year, Lee Smith was the Veterans Committee, and then Mariano Rivera got in in the first right. Sorry, there was no dispute there, but you got to do an awful lot to get in, don't you? Well, you got to be pretty consistent. Uh, I think that's one thing if you look at all those guys, <coughs> excuse me, that are, that are in, they've been consistent over a number of years. And that's mm -hmm. probably the hardest thing as a closer is you know, being in shape, having the type of arm where you can go out and throw every day. All these guys did. Uh, and I think that's the, that's the biggest thing is the consistency coming out of the bullpen and doing the job. So there's a lot of guys might have one, two, three good years and then mm -hmm. bang, they're done. So, but uh, everybody, all the relief pitchers that are in right now are probably uh, certainly deserving. Now, there's probably a couple out there right now 
uh, that I think, uh, right now there's no left-handers. You know, John Franco's got very good numbers, a lot of saves, a lot of innings pitch. Uh, Billy Wagner uh -huh. uh, for the Astros, I think he's certainly a candidate to get in as a left-hander. Those are two left-handers, I think. That, uh, How about going back? You know, I ran a Tug McGraw thing the other yeah, day, and Tug I said, Tug McGraw, Sparky Lyle, I don't know, Kent Tocovey, John Hiller, uh, uh, Quisenberry, Dan Quisenberry. Right. Who, who stands out to you? Like, who do you say? Like, oh, that guy I, was a great I don't know the exact leader. numbers on Tug. Tug was a, a pretty good relief pitcher, and uh, I don't know. Yeah, make two ERAs, 90 innings a season, yeah. 12 years. Right. <laughs> you know, the, the standard uh, excellence, you know? Yeah, as a, as a relief pitcher, it's a tough nut to crack to get yeah. in there. And, uh, uh, but nowadays, uh, uh, you're going to see, I think, a lot more guys because uh, starting pitchers aren't going nine innings. You know, uh, the relievers are half the relie game. Relievers right. are definitely a big part of the game. And so they're going to be used. So they're going to get some big numbers. They're going to get 40, especially your closers, are going to get 40, 45, 50 saves a year. So yeah. if they stay healthy and they're looking at five, 600 saves for their career, they got a good chance of getting in here. Well, that's the thing. They, the run prevention is, look, Kimbrell was number one all time in run right. prevention, but he is being used in kind of an ideal situation, 60 innings a pop. Remember, Josh Hader it was amazing to me. When they start, when Hader was being used two, three innings a time, right, and he wasn't piling up the innings, but in one shot they'd do two, three. Even he said this is so difficult to get the three, sit down, go back right. out, and God forbid, go back out another time. Eventually he said, no, 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 use me one inning. <laughs> so how, like, why were human beings able to do it in your day and they can't do it? Now? I'm not saying they're soft, they're not. They throw harder than ever, but they can't do that. Well, uh, I, I think managers, I, if I was a manager and, uh, uh, like, Josh Hader comes in in the sixth inning or, or seventh or eighth inning, yeah. and he, he gets the guys out, he strikes out the side, I'd let him go back out there. I mean, he's going to have to show me he's going to be bad. Right. And, and if he's punched out the side in the eighth inning, I'd let him go out there in the ninth. He might not be, uh, you know, used to doing it. But, I, you know, physically, I think all these guys could do it. And, but I think managers are put on the spot uh, because uh, it's, the way it's, it's the way it's done. You know, if, if the guy goes out and messes up, then the, the manager's got to answer to the press. Why didn't you bring in this guy? Why did you let him go out and do it? Yeah. So uh, I think there's a lot of pressure on the managers. Yeah, uh, to wow, too bad for them. In. But it wasn't bad for you. Look, by the way, I, I looked this up. The postseason, this man, 57 innings, a 2.35 ERA. And with the A's, when you won three straight championships, you had a 1.60 ERA. 30, 39 innings of work in th th the three years. So you were at, at each, each postseason in the World Series, you're working 13 innings a pop. You were working, Raleigh. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, and it's, you're coming in with uh, guys on base. They don't have to worry about that now. And, you know, the, you come in against the Reds, with, uh, you know, men on second and third, nobody out in a one-run yeah. game. The Reds, yeah. yeah. The Reds. Yeah, right. <laughs> Bench, so, Morgan, uh, Rose, yeah, yeah you, different story. You were always coming into, into trouble, you know. Right. You were always, uh, there was always guys on, in the base pass. You couldn't make mistakes. Uh, Raleigh, so, uh, it, it's great to have you out here. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Good good chatting with you, just you. going back. I always tell people, I say, no, 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 I've seen human beings do it. This human being did it. You can't throw that many eggs. No, I, I saw it. Raleigh, thank you so much. All right, thanks for being Raleigh here. Fingers, uh, class of 1992.